In early 1999, NATO took an historic decision to intervene to prevent the further loss of life in Kosovo, to protect human rights, and to secure the stability of the Balkan region and all of Europe. This was not an easy decision, and I pay warm tribute today to the exceptional leadership that was shown by President Bill Clinton. The efforts we took together secured a UN peacekeeping presence in Kosovo, assured the safe return of refugees and displaced persons across the region, and established the political framework agreement for Kosovo. This decision was motivated by our deeply held values, by a commitment to justice and fair treatment of all people regardless of faith or nation, a desire to secure peace and stability in the Balkans, and a sincere commitment to the people of Kosovo and of the region. We knew how hard the road to progress and peace would be, but we also believed that the people of Kosovo and across the region had the creativity, the wisdom, the resolve to address the many challenges that lay ahead. In the last 20 years, we've witnessed a new generation of Kosovars taking their future into their own hands and channeling their energies into nation building. I congratulate the people of Kosovo on these efforts. And we've also seen, I'm pleased to say, fundamental changes in Serbia and elsewhere in the region. Of course, we recognize and know there are many significant challenges that lie ahead. Creating an enduring peace takes time, hard work, and courage. But I believe the will and the leadership is there. Progress will require tough decisions, persuasive leadership. But you have done this before, and therefore I believe you can do it again. I therefore have a steadfast belief that the Balkans will finally rise above the challenges that have been there for a hundred years and more and take its true place in the world today. So as we reflect on the generations of the past, our determination is to secure, secure a lasting peace for the future which generations to come can build upon. Personally, I commit myself again today to do anything I can to arrive at that enduring peace and to seek a place for all the states of the Balkans at the heart of Europe. To the people of Kosovo, I say, we were at your side 20 years ago and we are at your side still. You have been through so much, you suffered so much, but you overcame. Now you must build a future worthy of your people, an independent, sovereign state inside the family of European nations. That is our vision, and I have confidence that this vision can and will be the future reality for Kosovo and for the Kosovan people. So we stand with you, we salute you, and we thank you.